Living by Starlight, an astrological newsletter by Mitchell Scott Lewis, March 2009. Saturn opposed Uranus for the second time on February 5th. Since then, the stocks have dropped like a sack full of kitty litter one more time to test the bottom they put in last fall. So far, the 740 low in the S&Ps has held barely. But until this aspect completes in July 2010, these markets will continue to be volatile and erratic. Even after that 2010 date, there will be no magic bullet. We should not expect this financial situation to correct itself for quite a number of years. I'm not saying that things won't get better and we aren't stabilizing the foundation a bit, but there is a vicious decay in the underbelly of our system, and until it is ferreted out, we will continue to discover sinkholes capable of sucking in banks, industries, and individual wealth. How is the av average person supposed to make money in this economy? You can't open a small business. Savings accounts don't pay interest. Entire industries are collapsing, and the stock market feels more like Vegas than Wall Street. Here's a sobering thought. The last time Saturn opposed Uranus was from April 1st, 1965 to January 7th, 1967 for a total of five times. In 1966, the stocks began a 16-year bear market. It took until 1982 to begin the next bull market. The situations were much different, of course. There was no stock market crash, just a meandering down and sideways. During that 16-year period, there were several recessions, including the one in the early 70s, that is often seen as the predecessor of this one. But that Saturn Uranus opposition also helped produce the 60s. Although the world has changed so much since the innocent 50s, we can never regain the excitement and awe that the awakening of the hippie era brought us, but there is a possibility that the unsettling effects of this aspect could shake up the collective unconscious enough to create a few pearls. Of course, as the old saying implies, they must then be offered where they can be appreciated. And for the moment, most of the pigs are busy cleaning their sty. Pluto is settling into Capricorn and will begin to oppose America's so-called money planets, Venus and Jupiter. This is already being felt. Pluto has much to do with power struggles and control issues. As it approaches its first opposition to Venus, ruler of the 10th and 11th houses in America's chart, and thus quite influential in money matters, we see the government intervening and taking more control over the banks. This is only the beginning. As Pluto opposes Venus and Jupiter over the next three years, there will be more issues of control and potentially a serious power struggle within our government. The split between Republicans and Democrats has never been deeper. Jupiter rules the Ascendant, and the opposition of Pluto shows the potential for some severe and unsettling events. I will discuss it further as the aspect approaches. Jupiter will conjunct Neptune three times this year, May 27th, July 10th, and December 21st. This aspect will have a major effect on our nation and the world. We can expect a huge rise in inflation and a great deal of confusion about values of things. I expect an increase in religious and philosophical matters. Also, since Neptune rules music, film, and fine art, this could bring about a mini-renaissance so badly needed now. The combination of these two planets may also, however, increase the fog and confusion surrounding many issues, and a great deal of self-delusion will most certainly accompany it. There is a fine line between genius and fool.